Okay, guys, we're going to begin before Rosh Hashanah starts at sundown, as all Jewish holidays begin at sundown today, and then tomorrow, Rosh Hashanah, most important Jewish holidays. Before we do our little service, we're going to throw the breadcrumbs into the water, body of water with fish. Now, okay, so, <laughs> so we're pretending, because our lakes were filled with a lot of people, so we're pretending that this is a body of water and fish are in it. So here's my breadcrumbs, and we're supposed to toss them in, and I'm going to say the Shehekianu, which is the blessing that we say um, when we do this, okay? So we're casting off the sins because this is these two holidays are the most important holidays in the Jewish religion. Rosh Hashanah, Rosh means head, Shana, Rosh Hashanah means year. So this is the Jewish New Year. There's 10 days, so they call it in between, 10 days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. As we all know, Yom Kippur, Slichol service, is the end of the 10-day period of repentance and of a reflection. So hopefully the God, God will... Write our name in the Book of Life and seal it, which means we'll live for another year. Let's hope we all do. So, we cast our breadcrumbs, meaning we're casting our sins into the lake with abundance of fish because everything about this holiday is about prosperous and about the future of this year to come to be happy and prosperous and fertility and all kinds of things like that. No, not fertility for you guys. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to say the Shekhianu. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halom Shekhianu Vehigianu, vehigianu, lahazman hazeh. Ah, amen. Okay, so that is the prayer that we said. We say we're supposed to cover our head because it's a holy day and a holy prayer. So we cast our sins away. And now begins Rosh Hashanah, where we try to reflect on the year, the last year, on our sins or things that we did that were not so good. But we want to repent and say we're sorry to God. And we want to tell him that we're going to change our ways in the year to come. And that's what these, this begins the 10 days. And every single day you're supposed to do a mitzvah, which means a good deed. And you're supposed to reflect and really think about the last year and how you can change. Okay, guys. So we're going to do one more thing. Here's our shofar, which I'm not going to blow. And of course I sing the lishonati, lishonato, lishonato, which means have a happy and healthy new year. That's the greeting we say. And um, you're supposed to have pomegranate which is a sign of fertility and of prosperous. So I have pomegranate in my Patron drink. Okay, look, stay tuned. Okay, I want to turn it on.